Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dan Shannon and uh, today we're going to take a hands-on review of the uh, rigid 18 volt chainsaw. Uh, I did an unboxing in the previous video. You can find the link down below for that. Uh, this is part two uh, so we can explore how this uh, chainsaw matches up uh, compared to say a gas one or just an average everyday person uh, for their lawn or their wood wooded area uh, for cutting down trees, maybe taking off a few branches here and there. Just kind of light work, nothing uh, too stressful. But uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's dive in. But before we do, uh, we're gonna go in and uh, I think I'm missing a, a couple things uh, for safety. So uh, let's let's go on in and uh, get geared up. Okay, now that uh, I got my safety gear on, boots, chain pants, and hard hat with ear protection and a visor, we can get back to, uh, to doing the cutting. So uh, let's go ahead, test out the new saw, and uh, see what I can do. We're here out in the woods now. I got a bunt end of a, a tree. So uh, I'm gonna do some cuts. Um, I'm gonna take some cookies off. We're gonna see how long the battery lasts. Right now uh, it is on full. As you can see with the indicators right there. Always good to check your uh, bar oil. Make sure it's full, which this is full. So yeah, let's uh, let's start into it and uh, see how we how we do. I'm gonna put the shield down. This is not quite the decibel for hearing protection, uh, although it doesn't hurt to have it. So maybe I'll uh, put mine on just for for that sake. Um, take the guard off. All right, here, here, protection on and uh, the visor down. Protect this, uh, it's good for um, sawdust. Uh, if you're cutting at angles uh, and the chips are coming up, protects your eyes. Uh, and if any branches, if you're around like uh, trees that are hanging out, sometimes uh, the branches come back and, and hit you in the face. It's always good to, uh, to have helmet because uh, you can get uh, branches that fall from dead trees. So that's, uh, that's a huge thing as well. So anyways, let's, uh, let's dive into this and see how well it cuts um, and go from there. So, so once again, the battery's full, tank uh, is full, and uh, make sure your chain is, is nice and snug. Uh, you shouldn't need to see the uh, bottom tooth that goes in the track. You should... Uh, have that tight enough that you can't see right through the top of it so that's a good tension right there and uh yeah let's uh let's give it a go There's one pass. See how quickly that uh, made the pass. I wasn't leaning into the saw too much. Just kind of let it cut down through. That's what you want to do with the saw. Do you have the dog teeth that you can walk it in? Um, but uh, this type of saw is not made like you can see uh, 12 inch bar. Uh, we're not, not quite to the end, but you wouldn't want to dig into anything bigger than this, I wouldn't think, uh, just because the saw uh, would bog out. Uh. Thank you. 
So, battery is uh, officially dead. So, lock the bar back on. And uh, I just killed the battery. This is the uh, 6 amp hour. Uh, it's not even showing up for the light. So, it's completely dead. So we got, uh, let's see, how many of these cookies? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. And as you can tell, and from here, uh, we we're cutting into a lot of uh, knots and different things. It's uh, very solid wood, uh, as you can see. So the saw, uh, in my opinion, did very well. So if you were to uh, do a tree, uh, actually I'll take these up so I can hear. So if you're uh, doing an actual tree, you do them every 16, 18, whatever your stove takes uh, for the bar length. So you would, uh, you would chunk it and uh, get more of your tree, of course, than uh, what we did here. So if you can picture all these cuts, you could get an entire tree uh, pretty well chunked up um, depending on the size of course but this keep in mind this is a very large um, tree that I cut it wasn't your standard uh, size for this uh, this saw I would say you'd only want to do uh, probably probably half that you know right about there uh, just so it's a little bit less labor on the saw uh, but uh, yeah, it can, it can dig through this just fine. Uh, so thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate uh, any comments you have. Uh, this is the rigid brushless chainsaw. Uh, don't forget to, when you charge up your battery, always check your oil tank. Uh, make sure that's topped up because uh, if your chain is uh, not getting oil, it will heat up and cause issues uh, with performance. But uh, yeah. Appreciate uh, you watching and please subscribe and do the like button and uh, don't forget to click that bell uh, so you can have notification for any more other videos that I send out. Um, so yeah, uh, it's just a look at the saw and here's the, uh, the saw in use and me cutting with it. So thanks for watching.